Hi there, I wanted to try out an ultra wide monitor setup with my Surface Pro, so I got one here. Let's take a look at how I set it up and weigh up the pros and cons. Now the first thing that I've got here is my Surface Pro and the docking station. This setup would also work with the Surface Go, the Surface Book and the Surface Laptop. But with the Surface Book and the Surface Go, we could actually bypass the dock and plug directly in with the USB-C cable. But let's have a look at the Surface Pro setup. What I've used here with the docking station on the Surface Pro is a mini display port to display port cable to plug into the screen. So once I had the right cable and I plugged that in, it pretty much just sprang to life and started working. So what are the pros and cons? Well, the first pro is that I've got this curved screen. This particular one is 38 inches wide, so, and it's that ultra wide aspect ratio. So 21 by nine is the aspect ratio here. Now, I find that I need to push this back a little bit on the desk to be able to really take in the whole screen. It's quite a wide screen and it does sort of feel like there's a lot to look at and a lot to move your head for. So sitting it back on the desk a little bit just allows me to have a bit more in my field of view. But typically where I have two separate screens, we have this gap in the middle that's a little bit distracting. But here, just using the Windows Snap features, I can quickly have two applications sitting side by side and there's no gap in the middle. So I've really got this nice seamless feel. So the inbuilt Windows Snap feature allows me to split the screen in half, but bearing in mind that I've got this really high resolution ultra wide setup, I might wanna split it down a little bit more than just two apps side by side. So in this case, LG have some software that I've downloaded and installed. And you can see on my screen here, I've actually got the screen split into three. And this works kind of similar to the way the Windows Snap feature works. I just drag my window in that particular zone and you'll see a little bit of screen feedback and I can just slot my application into that spot. If I want to, I can take this even further and break the screen down into four or more zones using that third party LG software. It's not as easy to use as that inbuilt Windows Snap feature, but it does the job. On the downside, I previously had two 4K screens hooked up to my Surface docking station. So I had more screen real estate and more resolution, but I didn't have that gap in the middle. So I'm not so worried about that particular con. The other downside of this setup is that it's quite expensive. It, it is probably around about the price of three of my 4K screens instead of just two. So I've paid a little bit more for this particular solution. One more thing I should mention is that I'm still using my Surface Pro screen as well. So I'm using this in an extended desktop scenario so that I can use the touch and pen features down here on my Surface Pro in addition to that external ultra wide screen. So I think that's one of the amazing things about the Surface range is that I can have a device that's so light and portable that goes anywhere with me. It can be my note taking device. I can use it as a tablet. And when I get back into the office, I can plug it into a setup like this and be far more productive. Tell us about how you set up your Surface at your desk in the comments below or ask any questions about my setup as well. We'll do our best to answer them. But if you found this tip helpful, remember to give us the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to learn how to use your Surface devices more effectively.